Last year, I reviewed one of my favorite two-in-one convertible laptops, the Yoga C930 from Lenovo. And it got very high marks, a lot of views on my channel, and for good reason. Not only did it have a gorgeous 4K option display, it also had the build quality, it also had the pen that you could store in the device, and it even had a sound bar. Well, I couldn't wait for its follow-up, and when Lenovo announced that they're going to make the C940 not only in a 13.9 inch version or 14 inch version, they're also introducing a 15.6 inch version. I got my hands on it, I've been putting it through its paces ever since, and here's my review. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo Yoga C940, the 15 inch coming up. Now before we begin, if you like these type of videos, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me on all the social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post a new video on those platforms as well. Today's video is brought to you by Who Keys, one of the best places to get game keys, Steam CD keys, Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, and so much more. Right now, there's a special holiday promotion going on over at whokeys.com, and if you use a special 20% discount code, VIP20, you're going to get even better savings. So head on over to whokeys.com to take advantage of these great savings. Now, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Lenovo, I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. And for those wondering, this unit was purchased with my own money. The Lenovo Yoga C940 has a very good starting price of $1399.99, and that to me is a very good price considering the specs, considering the hardware you're getting. That to me is a steal. In fact, I'm going to put the link below for more information and where you can buy one. Now with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Inside the box is a 135 watt power adapter that uses Lenovo's own proprietary connector. It also has an extension cord as well. Now there's a box within the box and that of course houses the Yoga C940 itself. Lifting the lid, you're greeted by that unit. We'll get to that in just a moment, but you also get some safety warranty information and a setup guide. Now holding the unit for the first time, love that iron gray finish, love the top notch build quality, love the fact that it has a pen that stores in the device. Really good so far in terms of what I'm I'm seeing here. As far as ports are concerned, on the left side you get a power port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and they do support four lanes, does data charge, and of course display out. A 3.5 millimeter headset jack rounds out the left side. On the right side is USB-A 3.1 and the power button with an LED indicator light letting you know the device is powered on. And the right side is where you'll find the silo that houses the digital active pen. We'll go over that in just a little bit. One thing to note, it's no longer spring loaded. Lenovo makes it easy to access the inside of this laptop. All you need to do is remove the Phillips head screws, remove the bottom plate, and you're in. Now once inside, you'll notice the dual fans, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, and you'll notice that the RAM is soldered into the motherboard, so you won't be able to upgrade that, which is a little bit unfortunate. But you also are able to upgrade the SSD, which is good, although you do get some very good reads and writes, as you can see from these results. Now the Wi-Fi card is slotted in so you can change out that, although you do get some very good range and good reception because it has Wi-Fi 6, which I'm finding to be very good. And for those wondering, this is what the pen looks like within the device, and of course remember, this is a rechargeable active pen. And while inside, notice that 69 watt hour battery, which is on the small side for a 15 inch device, but I did manage to get close to 10 hours on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 115 nits, which isn't too bad. And if you do need to plug in, they do supply with a 135 watt power adapter and it takes only an hour and 52 minutes for full charge. That's really good. Since the Yoga C940 is a convertible laptop, it's got a lot of versatility. You can put it into the different modes. For instance, you could put it in the tent mode, great for recipes in the kitchen, great for consuming media. Same goes for the stand mode. And of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode, great for use with a pen. Although, as a tablet, this is certainly on the heavy side, that's for sure. 
And as I mentioned earlier, the pen stores and charges within the device. And that's good because you don't have to be looking for any quadruple A batteries. You don't have to worry about losing the pen. Now the pen itself has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity and uses the Wacom AES technology, which is really good for taking notes and sketching out artwork. And it's also great for navigating through the OS. Now, barring a cue from the S940, this has a reverse notch. And what it does is a couple of things. Number one, it allows a very small bezel on the top. And number two, it acts as a latch for you to open up this laptop. And I think from a form and function, it does a really good job. Okay, let's talk about the display. There are two display options. There's a 4K UHD display and what I have here, a full HD HDR 400 display. And I have to say it's a very good full HD panel, although not the most color accurate. Now it does get bright at 345 nits. So this is definitely a good choice for both indoor and outdoor use. Got some really deep black, some very vibrant colors, and it covers the color gamut very well. 97% sRGB, 72% Adobe RGB. So this is definitely a good choice if you want to do video editing or you want to do Photoshop. Now I like the fact that it has some pretty slim side bezels and a reverse notch on the top which houses the webcam. So this is the front-facing camera on the all-new Lenovo Yoga C940 15-inch version. And I'm actually really impressed with it so far. Now it does have a 720p 30 frames per second webcam and not bad not the best i've ever seen certainly not the worst this is definitely good to do skype it's adequate to do video conferencing but i'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comment section below and there's also a privacy switch that allows you to turn off the webcam to give you more security and more privacy now there is a fingerprint scanner located below the cursor keys and it worked pretty well registering my finger pretty much every time i used it great for windows hello login and one of the standout features of the Yoga C940 is its rotating soundbar. This is a Dolby Atmos soundbar and the sound is phenomenal. And in addition to the soundbar, there are two speakers on the bottom. And because it's a rotating soundbar, it doesn't matter which mode you're in, you're still going to get the best sound possible. And that to me is a fantastic design choice. It has a very rich sound, fills up the room rather nicely, so the volume is good. It also has good bass and very good mids. This is definitely one of the best choices out there when it comes to audio. Okay, let's talk about the performance. And under the hood, you're looking at the Intel 9th generation processor. It's the Core i7-9750H. It's a six core processor paired with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with Max-Q design, four gigabytes of video memory. And as you can see from these benchmark results, you can see that this definitely is good for productivity tasks, good for everyday use, especially when you look at that PC Mark 10 test, which is a good indicator of that. You can see this definitely can handle the job. Now, when it comes to video editing you can definitely do 4k video editing with this gpu although there are better options out there if you want to go even further you can add an external gpu that's for sure but it just definitely can do video editing it could do high-end photoshop now when it comes to gaming you can definitely game on this if you put it on high settings 1080p you'll see some playable frame rates if you lower the settings to say medium settings you get even more playable frame rates so that's good and as I showed you earlier, there are two fans in this, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, and the fan noise was actually pretty good. It was relatively quiet, which is definitely something we want to see. Now, if you really push this laptop in terms of thermals, it will thermal throttle, of course, so that's something to keep in mind. But I think the thermals, they did a pretty decent job on it. You really have to push it to have to get it to thermal throttle. So that's okay in my book. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, I would say it's okay, not great. Uh, it has a smile shaped keys we've come to know with Lenovo. It's not quite as good, of course, as a ThinkPad keyboard. Definitely has good tactile feedback. The key travels a little bit shallow for a 15-inch device, and it does have a numeric keypad, so if you're an accountant or a number cruncher, you will certainly appreciate that. But it's not a terrible keyboard. It's okay, I would say. I I've seen better, that's for sure. Now, one thing I do like is the fact that it has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. Now, it does have a touchpad. It's a glass touchpad. It's a precision touchpad. I thought it was pretty responsive and the two-finger scrolling was buttery smooth. All the Windows 10 gestures worked as advertised. 
So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Lenovo Yoga C940 15.6 inch version? And the answer is absolutely. I love the versatility that this two-in-one gives you. I like its bright, vivid, full HD, HDR 400 display. I like its robust build, attractive design, excellent audio out of that sound bar. I love the very good battery life that this gives you, the solid performance out of that ninth generation Intel Core i7. I like the fact that the pen stores and charges in the device. There are a couple of negatives here. It is a bit heavy when you use it in tablet mode and the RAM is not user upgradable. Having said that, this is still an excellent choice. I'm gonna give this a score of 90% making Lenovo Yoga C940 15.6 inch version worth your money. So what do you think about the Lenovo Yoga C940, the 15 inch version? I absolutely love it. And I am glad they came out with a bigger version with some more graphics horsepower under the hood. That's right, we're talking about the NVIDIA GTX 1650 with Max-Q design. And that definitely will help with things like video editing, playing some games on this, although it is not a dedicated gaming laptop, as I mentioned, you definitely could play some games on certain settings, as I pointed out. Now, as far as the processor is concerned, you're looking at the ninth generation six core processor, the Core i7-9750H, and it performed very well. Obviously, you're gonna get good performance out of that six core processor. As far as the battery life, which actually surprised me, I thought it did pretty well. So I was actually impressed with the battery life considering all the power this does pack under the hood. And I love the fact that you could store the pen in the device, worked really well, great for sketching out artwork, great for taking notes, and I like the fact that it's rechargeable. You don't have to hunt for batteries. Now, if you want to work with a bigger pen, there are some options out there that uses the Wacom AES technology, and it does work well. Although it is a bit heavy if you're going to use it in tablet mode, it's occasionally good for that use. I think most of the time you're going to be using it in laptop mode. But again, you have the versatility if you want to use it in the different modes. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Andrew. <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo Yoga. Yeah, I can't remember what the hell it is.